is to move the colors around, to show the females you are in good health, to strengthen bonds between the couple, or simply to stimulate the development of the internal sexual organs. The mere sight of sexual colors sets off a chain reaction and activates production of the hormones necessary for the reproductive process. The enormous amount of energy expended by the males in showing themselves off more and better demonstrates just how important colors are in the lives of those animals that can distinguish them. These Indian peacocks, for example, are obliged to literally mesmerize the females if they want to copulate. The peahens, plain and ugly, sit back, enjoy the show and make their choice. In the case of the flamingos, their bright pink wings and their dances are signals which help all the adults of the colony to synchronize breeding. All the chicks must grow in time to be able to fly off before the water is evaporated by the heat. A matter of life or death. And as might be expected, human beings who have excellent sight to appreciate colors, the legacy of our past as tree-dwelling fruit gatherers, have introduced color into our culture, stealing the feathers from the birds and imitating their dances. This is a ceremony called Tanimet. It is held in certain Indonesian tribes to introduce and pair up unmarried individuals of one village with those of another. Naturally, color plays a central role, this time a cultural development rather than a genetic one, as in the case of the birds. Identical methods with the same aim in mind. The master of ceremonies or matchmaker will witness the forming of couples which must be accepted by both parties. As all the inhabitants of a village are related, the men have to find wives in other villages in order to avoid endogamy. They look at each other and take each other's hands, mingling and gradually defining their preferences. The ceremony can last days or even weeks. But among the survivors of the planet Earth, chromatic language also serves other functions, and no better place to see this than in the paradise of chameleons, Madagascar. For some, the best shade is background color, precisely in order not to be seen by predators. If you're small and not poisonous, your best bet is to be seen as little as possible. In these cases, the verdict of the predator is final. Those that are good at hiding survive and have children, while those that make mistakes are disqualified and die.
the result is there for everyone to see.